Hello everyone! Another na part 2 of the last challenge, the kiss your partner snack one, the re-upload, aka explanation of Tanaka's behavior is back. I have to apologize at the beginning because my voice still isn't 100% but I really wanted to have this off my table. So it's a little bit more hollow than I would like it to be. But hopefully it's not going to be enough to tear you out of the story itself. As always, special thanks to my lovely patrons and all of you who subscribe and watch these videos. You are keeping this channel alive and going. Thank you very much and I hope you will enjoy. It took about a minute for Tanaka to realize what he just did. His mind was clouded since the moment he came home that day. He couldn't even clearly recall how he got home, but the more like shit he felt when the mist dissipated. Dread pulled in his stomach when he recalled his elbow colliding with Enoshita's chest, and how confused and scared his boyfriend looked when he snapped at him, all the horrible words that left his mouth now resonating in his head. And probably not just his. Fuck. He got up and rushed out of the room, taking a quick look around in search for his boyfriend. He didn't want this to happen. He was supposed to take care of this on his own and leave Enoshita out of it. This was all wrong. His chest constricted when he realized where Enoshita probably was. He knocked gently on the door to their bedroom that were definitely open before, Worried he might scare Enoshita with a louder sound. Jika? No answer came through the door, only soft sniffing that shattered Tanaka's heart. He always thought he could never hurt someone he loved intentionally, and yet he just hit his boyfriend, scared him and made him cry. Sure, he was out of it, but that didn't change anything. Chica, I'm so sorry. I didn't want to hurt you, I swear. Can I come in? Please. There was a short pause. Don't. There wasn't a word to describe how Tanaka felt at that moment. He let out a shattered sigh, leaning his forehead against the door in a desperate attempt to ground himself. Okay, I understand. I'll... I'll leave you alone. I'm so sorry. He headed back into the other room to spare Enoshita the awkwardness of meeting face to face if he needed to go to living room or bathroom for whatever reason, and flopped face down on the bed. His phone clanked with messages, but he couldn't bring himself to care. He knew what they were about, and it just made him more furious with himself for letting the whole mess control his actions. He really wanted to scream his lungs out into the pillow. God damn it. His back ached when he woke up the next morning, reminding him just how much his body hated when he slept on his stomach. He let out a bitter chuckle. Under normal circumstances, he would ask Enoshita to use his nearly magical touch to help him get rid of the pain. Enoshita had always been incredibly kind in that regard, as he was with everything, and always chased the pain away in just a few minutes. And on top of that, Tanaka got to enjoy his beloved's touch. Now though. The more he thought about how much he messed up, the less he was sure of what to do. He froze mid-step on the way to the bathroom upon spotting Enoshita sitting by the table, already dressed for work, and staring into the cup in front of him without actually drinking from it. He hesitated. He wanted nothing more than to run to his boyfriend, hug him and try to explain everything, make everything better again no matter how much he would have to beg. But... Chica... Enoshita flinched as he looked up, his eyes wider than Tanaka would like. 
Oh, morning. He lowered his gaze back to the cup, tension almost seeping from him. It was a bad sign, Tanaka knew, yet he couldn't stop himself from walking a bit closer. About yesterday, I... The sound of chair being pushed away interrupted him, his heart sinking as Enoshita got up abruptly and grabbed his back. Sorry, I... I have to go or I'll be late. We can talk later, okay? With that, he rushed around Tanaka and to the main door, the soft clap of the lock sounding like metal bars being shot to Tanaka. He sighed heavily and slumped on the couch armrest. Damn it. Though, no wonder he doesn't want to talk. In despair, he went for his phone and opened one of the old group chats he used whenever he needed help. Which he definitely needed right now. I messed up. But a shock. What did you do this time? Burn the kitchen down? Don't make fun of me. I really fucked up this time and I don't know what to do. Okay, sounds serious. What happened? I hit Chica. You what? I didn't mean to, okay? I would never hurt him intentionally, you know that. He caught me off guard and I snapped at him. Tanaka Ryunosuke. I know, alright. I know I'm the asshole here. You don't have to tell me that. Very mildly put. What happened? It's all because of that annoying woman from the gym. She just won't leave me alone. She filed a complaint about the change of trainers, so I have to train her again because she has my boss in her pocket. I tell her all the time I'm already in relationship and not interested, but she just keeps flirting and touching me. And no one listens to me because she's the rich patron we can't bear to lose. Well, that's messed up. Yeah, but what about Eno? He didn't do anything to you. I know, okay. I know he doesn't change anything. Why didn't you tell him about it? At least he would know what it's all about. I didn't want to drag him into that. He's already insecure because of her since that note thing, and I thought I could deal with it on my own. But I was just so out of it and mad that when he touched me, I flashed back into the gym and snapped. I know he didn't mean it, but I just knew someone was suddenly touching me without asking first, so I pushed him away and then it all went to hell. And now Chica is avoiding me. Can you blame him? No. I wanted to apologize, but he ran away from me. You should have seen him. He looked so broken yesterday. I don't know what to do. I'm afraid a simple apology won't be enough. I don't care how much I have to do or how long it will take. I just want him to know I still love him and that it was a mistake on my part. Well, I would say give him some time to settle and decide if he wants to listen. And then talk. Yeah, tell him everything and let him decide what next. And then pray he gives you a second chance. Yeah. Thanks for listening. Anytime. Yeah, but you should also do something about that woman or this can repeat. Tanaka froze, realizing he had a training planned with her in just a few hours. Fuck, I'll have to see her today too. Shit. Well, try to think of something. Like recording her or something. She's clearly harassing you. It's not that simple. I need to get going. Wish me luck, please. Good luck. And keep us updated, okay? Sure. He sighed and closed the chat feeling even more hollow than before. Reluctantly, he got up and headed to get ready for work, dreading even stepping into the gym. His chest constricted when he noticed that despite everything, Enoshita still prepared a bento for him. I'll make this right, love. I promise.
he gritted his teeth, throwing a scorching glare at the woman standing next to him and her hand on his shoulder. The exercise he was showing her, and which he was absolutely sure she had to know already since he saw her doing it before, didn't require her hands to be anywhere near him, let alone touching him. Can you take your hand off of me? I told you several times I hate it. The woman laughed and lightly smacked his shoulder, making his blood boil. Oh, you. You're so funny sometimes. I'm not joking. Keep your hands off of me. He stepped away, cringing when the woman smiled sweetly at him. But that's such a difficult task. Who could resist when you have such a nice figure? And those arms of yours? I bet you could carry anything your wife needed, right? She batted her eyelashes and nudged their shoulders together, running her fingers along Tanaka's collarbone. What a lucky woman would that be! Tanaka stepped back again, a little flicker of satisfaction igniting in his chest when the woman staggered. But fury took over soon. It wouldn't. My personal life is none of your business because you'll never be in it. Do I make myself clear? I don't know what's your deal, but I'm not going to jump as you whistle. The woman's smile faltered, turning into a boat. Oh my, my, you get really ugly when you are like this. You shouldn't be so rude to your clients, you know? The audacity. Tanaka bared his teeth, rage bubbling in his chest. You are telling me about being rude? You? I told you several times I don't want you touching me and yet you are still doing it. I'm not interested in your flirting, or you for the matter. I'm already happily in a relationship. I have the most perfect boyfriend in the world who now probably hates me because your inability to take no as an answer made me snap on him for no reason. He deserves all the love in the world, not me snapping at him for wanting to help. So fuck off! He was aware of all the gazes that turned to them, but he couldn't care less. His chest heaved, head spun and throat itched from shouting. He wished he could enjoy the stunned expression on the woman's face, but the memory of the fright in Enoshita's eyes from yesterday tainted even that. What did it matter he yelled now? He already hurt Enoshita. It didn't change anything. He already messed up. Maybe made unrepairable damage to their relationship before it could even start properly. How could he look Enoshita in the eyes now? How... Ryu. He froze, then bit hard on his tongue to suppress the onslaught of emotions as he turned around to face Enoshita. Confused as to why he was here, but glad to see him nonetheless. Chika. Just like in the morning, Enoshita's eyes watched him widen, his cheeks colored light pink, possibly from embarrassment. No wonder. But he was there, and Tanaka's brain short circuited. How. how much did you hear? Well, I've been here for a while already, so I suppose a lot. I bet they heard you on the street too, though. You were a bit loud. He bit lightly on his lower lip, his eyes straying down before meeting Tanaka's again. Can we talk? Yes, yes, of course. He followed after Enoshita nodding in thanks at his co-worker who rushed to take care of the woman. His mind was blank, however, and he had to restrain himself with everything he had to not do something too rash. Finally, they stopped at somewhat secluded part of the gym, and Tanaka cleared his throat, unsure where to start. I didn't expect you here. Enoshita took a deep breath and squeezed the strap of his back, his eyes wandering everywhere but near Tanaka. 
Narita and Kinoshita texted me earlier that I should go to your gym, that there is something I need to know, but they didn't tell me what. He hesitantly looked at Tanaka. What you said she did to you, is that true? Yeah. I thought it would be alright if someone else took her over, but then she came back under my schedule and it just got worse. She's the same one who flirted with you before. Yeah. Why didn't you tell me? I could help you or... or at least support you. Then I sighed. I didn't want to drag you into it. And I suppose my pride didn't want to admit I would need help with something like this. But I just made it worse. He instinctively reached for Enoshita's hand, but then caught himself and let his arm fall back to his side. I'm sorry, Chica. I really am. I swear I didn't mean to hit you or hurt you. I would never do that on purpose. It's just... At that moment, it wasn't you behind me, and it... I know it's a lame excuse, and I'll understand if you don't accept the apology. You have all the right to send me to hell. Shaking his head, Enoshita took a shattered breath, but it seemed like some tension left his posture. You scared me. I thought... I thought you were getting tired of me. I could never. I meant every word I said to... You're practically an answer to my prayers, and I felt like the luckiest guy in the world since we started dating. He lowered his gaze. I can't believe I did this to you after I promised I'll marry you one day. I... I still stand by that promise, if... If you let me. Ryu... I know I have no right to ask that, and I understand if you don't want anything to do with me anymore, but... Can you... Would you give me a second chance? Please. I promise we can do everything at your pace. Do everything your way for as long as you need. I'll give you space to think everything through, I swear. Just please let me prove to you that you are the most important person in my life. I mean, if you think I deserve it, of course. It's alright if you don't want to be around me anymore. I'll accept your decision, no matter what it is. Enoshita stayed silent for a long while, and Tanaka's heart sank. He still believed there was a way to salvage things, to repair what he ruined. But he gave his word, and if Enoshita didn't see it the same, he was going to respect it, even if just the thought of having to leave shattered his heart. I understand. I... I'll come for my things when I finish here. He was already turning away to hide his blurred vision when a warm hand closed around his wrist. Wait. You don't have to. Just... Just come home. Like always. Tanaka blinked a few times, too overwhelmed by emotions to speak for a moment. He then took a deep breath and nodded, trying in vain to chase away the mist from his eyes. Okay, I'll text you after my shift ends. I'll make dinner. Enoshita gave him a small, soft smile. Alright, we can talk after that. Yeah, gladly. He followed Enoshita with his gaze until the physician walked out of the door, giving him a small wave despite Enoshita being unable to see it anymore. A giant weight as it fell from his chest, allowing him to breathe again. Not everything was lost. He could still salvage this. And he was going to do everything in his power to do so. <laughs>